Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are going to be unboxing this little guy. Why? I scrooged up. I left a game out of the box that came in the box this month when I was first recording. So this is recording number two. So, second attempt, I should say. Uh, not the worst thing that could ever happen. But still, not the best either. Because now I have to redo this entire video for no reason. Um, I also deleted the original video from YouTube. But the original video will also be on my Facebook page so y'all can see the difference. Or if you want to pay a dollar a month, you can go to my Patreon and watch it. The original take. Um, anyways, I got the PlayStation Eye camera. It can actually be used as a webcam on Windows 7 devices. I know nobody uses Windows 7 anymore, but you know, this was the cheapest webcam at $25 you could buy at the time. And it was the least bulky of all the webcams that you could buy at the time. So when this was released, it was the sleekest model of webcam and the cheapest. So it was the highest value per dollar. And it had it was the only one that didn't have a separate add-on for the microphone. The microphone was actually included with the webcam. So you didn't actually have to purchase it separately and this was before laptops included a built-in webcam for you to use. So, just give, giving you that information there. Um, GoldenEye 007. You'll notice that my motif is a little bit different in this one. Um, GoldenEye 007. I'm bombed. James Bond. And I'm bonded by the Alliance. Um, anyway, fun game. I've actually played it for three hours as opposed to the one hour, I believe, when I did the review, um, that I will post after this video. I recorded it before this video, though, so there's that. Um, this is like Tamagotchi or Bug Catching 2. I can't read. Japanese, uh, but uh, it's made by Bandai Namco, and it looks, sorry, the gameplay feels a lot like those old Tamagotchis. Now, if you're after the, born after the year 2000, you have no idea what a Tamagotchi is. It's basically like a pocket pet. Um, you have a, it's kind of like having one Pokemon in an egg with three buttons, your feed, sleep, on, off button. And it's basically a pedometer that you carry around, counts your steps, and you feed your poke, you feed your animal after a specific amount of steps. And you, that's how it works. It's like a pedometer where you feed your pet. You, you, when you're walking around, you're basically walking the pet around on your hip or on your backpack. And when you want it to sleep, you put it to sleep. When you want the machine to turn off, you hit the off but on off button. That's all you do. That three buttons for a very simplistic game. Uh, this one only requires two. You actually go to your uncle's shop, you get your first Tamagotchi, you go home, you put it in a cage, you feed it, you clean out the droppings. It's like a f pet simulator, if I were to actually say what this is. It's a fun game. Thank God I don't have to clean up my worm's poo. Just joking. Uh, you, you know, at least I don't have to clean Earthworm Shampoo except for this game. 
<coughs> Except for this game doesn't have a giant laser cannon attached to Earthworm, my Earthworm's body. Anyway, on to the final game of the box is Hot Shots Golf 2. It's basically a golfing simulator where you've got uh, 13 different golfers you can play, 7 courses, a tournament mode, which includes four players, four player destruction mode, as I like to call it. Why? Who wants to play golf for four players? Um, equipment for up, equipment upgrades for the true fanatics. So at the time, it included clothing upgrades, golf club upgrades, and everything that was included at that time. For the game of golf and it says unrivaled 3d graphics i'm going to call bs on that because number one the graphics from what i can see from the screenshots on the back and from what i've actually played actually look a lot like 98 golf windows 98 golf which i've played a lot of uh yeah the 3d sprites are actually a lot better molded than Windows 98 Golf, but at the same time, golf is golf. It doesn't matter how bad or how good your character looks, you're still just hitting a ball around green forests and green plains. Yeah. It doesn't matter how many balls you hit, you're just whacking at the balls like a bloody weed whacker all day. Oh my god, I cannot believe I said that bad joke about golf, but, you know, considering golf's, God's been clubbing me with golf clubs for the last three months, you know, I guess I could club the golf clubs. <laughs> anyway, if you like my bad jokes, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next wonderful video adaption Oh. Retro Game Treasure Reviews. Yes, Yugi. Bye, Yugi.